I had another idea last night. So I came out here, cut off the battery, let it sit all night long. And now I want to test the slope indicator again after we turn this battery back on. Now, did that do anything to maybe reset the slope indicator? I don't believe it's battery related, but let's just try. Yeah. Fine. Not battery related. The other idea I had, because I don't know which 5 amp fuse it is, let's turn this back off, because I don't know if I'll break anything. The other idea was, oh, I disconnected that. There we go. Is there a plug for that speaker that I could just um, disconnect? See, it's right there. This is the speaker. What if I just disconnected these two? Does that break anything? Looks like this is a splice in for something else. Yeah, that's the choke. That's it must be the ground. Yeah. Or something. No, it's not choke. It goes up beyond. So let's see what happens. If I just disconnect the speaker. Because I'm not sure which one of those fuses is the 5 amp. And I'll be honest, I don't want to dig in there. I just want to mow. So let's take this plug on the side. If I can get my hand in there exactly. And if we just disconnect one, can, is that going to fall anywhere? I don't think it's going to fall anywhere. It's not going to hit anything. We'll just disconnect that one and see if that stops the beep, 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 beep. Oh. Eh. Let's turn the battery back on. Now let's turn it back on, machine back on. Oh, blessed silence. I wonder if we can break 100 degrees today. On the slope. I'll try and keep an eye on it. But let's do some mowing. As you can tell, I was just topping off fuel, came down from a bunch of mowing, I was up there hour and a half, back and forth, back and forth. Slope gauge was doing its normal 80, 90 degrees, well, abnormal 80, 90 degrees. Things were not looking good on the slope indicator. I was just basically ignoring it and going by the just comfort factor. You know, I know that I'm not going to be comfortable at the extremes of what this machine is safely able to operate. So if I wasn't comfortable, I just backed up and went somewhere else. I do want the slope indicator, but for being able to progress with mowing, I just went forward and used it with the beeper unplugged and the slope indicator flashing warnings nonstop. Now what was interesting was, let's continue. I came down here, turned the machine off topped off the gas and then started it up and when I started the machine up the slope indicator said three degrees instead of 85 degrees all I did was turn it off turn the machine off put fuel in turn the machine on and started it 
like I'd done many times before trying to figure out what's going on with my slope indicator. So I can't explain what what happened or how it fixed itself magically. You notice as I play with the display here, it actually operates as I believe it should. One swipe up gets you going across, but you notice that the slope is also the sl the menus. The display is not quite sitting right in there. It looks like the the screen is a little shifted inside of the cover, right? The indicator for the page you're on fully exposed on the first dot, but then when you go to the last dot on the right, the you can tell that the screen has a little bit of a rotation. I don't know why it's fixed. I don't know how it's fixed. At this point, where it was working, the cable was unplugged. The cable had been, for the speaker, unplugged for about an hour and a half a moment. Now, flash forward, I have plugged the indicator back in for my mowing today, the speaker indicator, and it appeared to be working normally all day today. Now, if someone can explain to me a logical reason why it would magically fix itself, then I would be more than happy to engage in that conversation. But right now, it is working, and I don't feel comfortable with why is it working. It shouldn't be. It wasn't. Two days it wasn't working. If you tell me that somehow the slip indicator is tied to the fuel tank, and you get low on fuel, slip indicator goes willy wonkers, I'll, you know. <laughs> we can talk about that, but all I did literally was top off fuel. Wasn't working, came down from this mowing you see me starting back up on, and filled up the gas, started the machine, and the indicator was working. I am going to call Ventrac or dealer or somebody on Monday, I don't know who, just to get a record recorded that there's something wrong with the slope indicator in case it goes sideways again down the road I fully expect it to because nothing fixes itself magically then uh, I have a I don't want to say claim but I got a document that says I've indicated this was an issue when the machine had roughly 10 hours on it but for now I'm not going to call the slope indicator issue resolved. I'm going to call the slope indicator issue on hold.